Welcome to Indirest TV. Uh, Oriola just hosted their investor day here in Helsinki and we have here CEO Katarina Gabrielson for an interview. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Thank you, you too. Nice to be live this time. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, so you just hosted your investor day, the first one for quite a few years. So what was the key? points or takeaways from, from that? Mm, from the messages. You can say that very much important for us is now to be having profitable growth and also efficiency. And really to, to harvest on the things that we have done, done in the turnaround program that we have done. It's also about looking at the supply chain and the supply chain services that we have in our, t uh, in our group and doing really supply chain as efficient as possible. Working then with data-driven business and also commercial excellence to, to really take fact-based decisions and also then harvesting on these commercial parts that we have started. Digital capabilities is important and of course we have done a, an incoming CDO at one point and that is also one of the reasons why we are now also having a CDO and not only a CIO. And then people and culture. Um, working with the people uh, and the full company uh, is, is really important to build the culture. So we're not just fixing the things now and then it will disappear again. And then, of course, sustainability, both for people parts, but also for the environmental part. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you have had some changes in the company structure as well. So mm. how should we view that now going forward? Is, mm. is, is this pretty much the structure with mostly the pharmaceutical wholesale you're looking to go forward with or, or is there potentially some changes. Mm. What I see now is that this, this is the core, uh, the pharmaceutical wholesale, including then also then distribution to healthcare professionals and veterinarians, of course, is, is the core. And then we have the dose business and expert services uh, as also part of these ones. And that, that is the core. Uh, and of course, during the year, we have done uh, have the joint venture with Apotex Group and, and, yeah. and so on, and also the uh, divestment of pharma service. Yeah. Not yeah. pharma service, Farant. Farenta. <laughs> I'm also saying the wrong one on that one. Farenta. Yeah. yeah. And, and geographically also is, is now Finland and Sweden yes. the markets you are looking yes. to play in. Yeah. 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 You mentioned the Swedish pharmacy JV that started now, now just, just a few months mm. back. What will be the role of, of that in mm. your group going forward? Mm. We will like, uh, of course, uh, monitor that one. We, we are an active owner, uh, but it's uh, like we are not in the business to consumer business in these cases. We are in the business to business business. Yeah. Uh, and they, of course, they need to ask if, if you have questions for them, you need to ask them in that aspect. So it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you're, you're you're more of an owner from now on. Mm. We're an active owner, but yeah. we're an owner. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. they are a customer also, in fact. Yeah, of course. Mm. Yes. Uh, then you kept your financial targets intact. Those have been also in place for quite a while. Mm. So so what should be what should the investors kind of read from those mm. or what's the what's the more most important uh, thing to understand from those mm. to the investors? You can say that we have four financial targets, long term targets in these cases, and we have reached like uh, or exceeded three of them. Mm. They are still like uh, valid for the for the transformation part where we are now. Yeah. So I think that's important to, to remember. So that's why we also don't change them. And of course, if you should change, it's a question for the board also. Yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. Very good. Mm. Thank you. And Thank we you. will look forward to, to further comments in the future. Thanks. Thanks.